Hi, I'm Damaris Jordan, and I'm coming to you again from Clark's Chapel Baptist Church in Thomaston, Georgia, to share a little story of things that I've recorded through the years of experiences, and I call it my diary. Um, they're experiences that God speaks to me through them and gives me a lesson in life or expounds in some way the meaning of a verse. There's so many different blessings that I've received from the things that God just highlights, it seems, in just my every day. Um, I want to share one with you today. Since last Sunday was Easter, this kind of follows along with the uh, blessing of Easter itself, and that, of course, is the resurrection of Jesus Christ and what that entitles us to when we believe in Him, which is eternal life with Him in heaven. I'm going to read to you uh, scripture first. Uh, the title of my diary is The Power of Life, and that scripture reading is from 1 Corinthians 15, 55. Reflections from Daily Living, it says, Death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? My experience that I want to share with you is um, growing up, um, Daddy died when I was 12 years old, and Mama just made the habit that we uh, shared for many years that every Sunday, and some days even in the week, but every Sunday after church, we would go to Daddy's grave. That was just a, a routine. Um, it was to visit, but also to make sure flowers were in order or, you know, just to have that um, that comfort of our, our knowing that we were showing respect uh, to his grave. That's what mama taught us to do. So this is a time after my mother had passed away. And so um, in, in as my habit was, I went one day to their grave and it was just really to pay my respect and meditate about what they'd meant to me. When I would visit, uh, you know, sometimes as times before, I would say words of endearment, of love to them, uh, and that is something that gave me comfort, but I would also express how I longed to see them again. Uh, in this, um, as I left the graveside, I parked in a different way than what I would usually do. I would walk away from their grave uh, to, to behind it where I would park. But this time, I drove all the way around the cemetery and parked in front of the headstone. And as I was leaving and got to the car and I sat down, I just, I, I just spoke to God and I said, you know, I, I know you know I believe. I believe in life that you have given us and that mom and daddy are in heaven. But if you could just show me some some semblance of their life continuing, it would mean so much. And then as soon as I said that, I was just uh, stricken with, with guilt in a sense that I expressed such a, a, a request of God. But as I did that, I looked back over to mom and daddy's grave and above their grave there had been empty lots for years something caught my eye there were two yellow butterflies that were swarming and they just did their loopity loop as they came down from the uh grave grave sites up above and came down and settled right in front of mama and daddy's headstone and as long as i looked they stayed there in that, in that fluttering position. Um, what a blessing that was to me. Um, it's almost like as they entwined with each other and swirling, that was just the combination of mom and daddy's life to me. I spoke to him, and I want to read you what I recorded. Father, thank you for the little things. My heart has been touched. You knew I believed. And would not doubt, but you chose to give me a special blessing to let me know you heard my voice and that you cared. A glimpse of life through two butterflies has lifted my saddened heart as I picture Mama and Daddy enjoying each other in your presence. I have no doubt that God did that for me that day. It was something so simple, and he knew I believed. I didn't have to have that sign but he did it for me. And, you know, in comparison 
Jesus Christ did it for me when he came to this earth and he died on the cross and gave me the opportunity to believe in him and believe in the Father and to receive the Holy Ghost into my heart. I just thank God so much for that. I want you to reflect about my story. Through the power of life that is in Christ Jesus, we have the hope of seeing our loved ones again. He is the resurrection and the life. He is the way, the truth, and the light. We can know that Jesus had the victory over death, hell, and the grave as we celebrate Easter and thank him for what he has done for us. We, too, shall live for eternity. I hope it's blessed you in some way, my story of the experience I had. Um, Not everyone follows through after death visiting a graveside, but that was our way. And I just thank God for the blessing of what he did for me that day. God bless you. Let your light shine.